In the ancient epic of Mahabharata, amidst the tales of valor and intrigue, there exists a lesser-known yet fascinating character, Banamathi. Though her name is not explicitly mentioned in the epic, Banamathi is believed to be the wife of Duryodhana. She was the eldest of the Kauravas and the daughter of Bhavadatta. Banumathi was renowned for her beauty and grace, and captured the attention of kings from far and wide. So, the king arranged her a swayambor, where she could choose a king of her choice. Among the assembled kings stood Duryodhana, the eldest son of King Dhritarashtra and the leader of the Kauravas. Though not invited, Duryodhana was determined to claim Vandumathi as his bride. As Bandumathi moved gracefully among the suitors, her eyes searching for a worthy companion, Duryodhana seized her hand, his grip firm and unwavering. Ignoring her protests and the shocked whispers of the gathered nobles, Duryodhana whisked her away in his chariot, his loyal friend Karna standing guard against any who dared to challenge him. Despite the uproar caused by Duryodhana's bold abduction, Bandumathi found herself bound to him by a promise. He vowed to make her his sole wife, forsaking all others. Thus she became the queen of the Kauravas. Though her name is scarcely mentioned in the great epic, Bandumathi's influence was felt in pivotal moments. When Draupadi, the wife of the Pandavas, faced humiliation in the Kaurava court, it was Bandumathi who dared to speak out against the injustice, fearing the consequences of Draupadi's wrath. In another instance, there was a game of dice between Karna and Duryodhana. As the game progressed, it became clear that Karna was winning. When Duryodhana entered the room where the game was being played, Karna's back was turned to him, so he didn't realize Duryodhana had arrived. Seeing her husband enter, Duryodhana's wife, Banumathi, stood up as a sign of respect, as was customary for a married woman. However, Karna misunderstood her actions, thinking she was trying to leave because she feared Karna's imminent victory in the game. In a rash move, Karna reached for Banumathi's drape, which was adorned with pearls. Unfortunately, in his haste, Karna accidentally caused the drape to tear, and the pearls spilled onto the floor. Banumathi was taken aback by this unexpected turn of events, unsure of how to react. She was worried that Duryodhana might misunderstand the situation and become angry with her and Karna. However, to everyone's surprise, when Duryodhana noticed the scene, he didn't react with anger or suspicion. Instead, he calmly asked Banamathi whether he should gather the pearls or string them together. This response demonstrated Duryodhana's unwavering trust and faith in both his wife and his friend, Karna, despite the misunderstanding that had occurred. After the Mahabharata War, Banamathi's life took a tragic turn. With the defeat of the Kauravas, Duryodhana, her husband, was slain in battle by Vima, one of the Pandava brothers. The loss of her husband was followed by the death of her sons and the destruction of the Kaurava lineage. Banumathi's story in the Mahabharata is one of love, loyalty, and ultimately, tragedy. As the wife of Duryodhana, she stood by him through tumultuous times, only to witness the downfall of her husband and sons in the war. Despite the adversity she faced, Banumathi's resilience and strength endure as a testament to the enduring themes of the epic. Her tale serves as a poignant reminder of the human cost of war and the enduring power of love and loyalty in the face of adversity.